Hi, teacher. I managed to buy a very good microwave oven at half price. That's nice. Did you buy it on sale? No, not sale. Then how do you get it for half price? Because I shared with my brother. The microwave oven cost $100 and we paid $50 each. We now share the microwave oven. Good for you. Do you also remember that some atoms also share their valence electrons to achieve a stable noble gas configuration? Mm, sharing of valence electrons to achieve a stable noble gas configuration, that's called covalent bond, right? Yes, very good. Can you tell me what you remember about covalent bonding? Sure. Nonmetals need to receive electrons to achieve the stable noble gas configuration. Nonmetals may receive electrons from metals, as in the case of ionic bonding. Alternatively, nonmetals can share their valence electrons with other nonmetals, so together they can achieve the stable noble gas configuration. Very good. Nonmetals share valence electrons and form a compound with a covalent bond. Yes, a covalent bond is a chemical bond formed when valence electrons pairs are shared between two atoms. Correct. Let's do a review and then dive deeper into covalent bonding. Sure. Let's take hydrogen gas, H2, for example. Each hydrogen atom has one electron, and they share it with another hydrogen atom to form a hydrogen gas molecule with a stable duet configuration. The two hydrogen atoms are joined by a single bond or a shared pair of electrons. Yes. Now, let's draw the dot and cross diagram of the formation of hydrogen gas. It should look like this. Teacher, I recall that hydrogen is the only nonmetal that can achieve stable duet. All other nonmetals will share valence electrons to achieve the stable octet configuration. That's right. For all other nonmetals, it will be an octet configuration. Take chlorine gas, Cl2 for example. Each chlorine atom has seven valence electrons, so they need one more electron to achieve the stable octet configuration. So the two chlorine atoms can share one pair of valence electrons to form a chlorine molecule. Yes, and like the hydrogen molecule, they also have a short line between the atoms to represent the shared pair of electrons. Hence, the formation of chlorine gas should be written this way. And so this would be the dot and cross diagram of the chlorine molecule. Ah, teacher, now I remember. Water or H2O is an example of covalent compounds. Let's review it quickly. Sure. For water, or H2O, the hydrogen atoms need one more electron to achieve the stable duet configuration, while the oxygen atom needs two more electrons to achieve a stable octet configuration. So, we need two hydrogen atoms to share one electron each with an oxygen atom. Because water molecule is composed of two different elements, we use the dot and cross diagram to represent valence electrons from the different elements. Hmm, so far so good, teacher. Great. Would you like to try drawing ammonia, NH3, and hydrogen chloride, HCl? Sure. Let's start with ammonia. Ammonia. 